Hello and welcome to a real conversation between two native English speakers. I'm Adam Navis. I'm here with Liz Wade. Hello, Liz. Hi, Adam. And today we are talking about a program called Giving Thanks for the Harvest. If you have not listened to that program, make sure you go and do that. You can listen to either our classic or advanced. The advanced is the same program at a little higher speed. There's some other things, but we won't go into that right now. Um, <laughs> if you are watching this on YouTube, we ask that, of course, you like and subscribe. If you want to join, click that little join button. You get some bonus extras. And if you're um, maybe watching this through our website, which is www.spotlightenglish.com, and you want to get a script every week sent to your email inbox, just click the little button on the homepage that says scripts by email or scripts by mail. I don't remember. You'll figure easy, it out. Easy. You're I smart. Think it's scripts by email. Scripts by email. For a, mm -hmm. for a couple bucks each month, you can get them straight to your, your inbox and not miss anything. Um, this is a fun program to talk about. It is around the time of year that we in the United States celebrate Thanksgiving, which is our harvest festival. But of course, harvest festivals are not just uh, a thing for the United States. They happen all around the world. Mm -hmm. um, so Liz, let's talk about both Thanksgiving and giving thanks for the harvest. Yeah, I was just going to say, wow, what cool wordplay, Adam. <laughs> um, yeah, and I have to say, um, today, when this video is coming out, is Thanksgiving, but we're cheating a little bit, and we're recording this a little bit early because this is a huge holiday, like uh, Adam said, that everybody in the United States does celebrate. So we're taking a little bit of time off this week. <laughs> Do you um, enjoy taking time off, Liz? Are you good at taking time off? <laughs> sure, sometimes. Um, yeah, we, we do actually, I, um, we like putting out a new program every week and we do a lot of work and, uh, yeah, sometimes we need a little break to spend time with our families and to set a set aside that time to give thanks actually. So, yeah. um, yeah, where I, I want to say, first of all, happy Thanksgiving to all of yeah. you listening and watching. And one of and, the things I know that both you and I are thankful for is all of the people who are watching this or listening to our yeah. program. Uh, oh my goodness. Who are part of this Spotlight community. You guys are wonderful. And we are very thankful that you kind of hang out with yeah. us and listen to what we have to say. I know that I know that we always say like Spotlight listeners and viewers are the best. We always say this. And I think... Um, well, I hope people don't think we're just saying that because oh. honestly, I really think they are. You know, you go to some places on YouTube and people are so mean and, you know, they're they're being mean to each other and saying terrible comments. And like here, yeah. it's like a little utopia in yeah. YouTube. <laughs> on the Internet. <laughs> Everybody is so kind, even when they disagree with each other. Um, yeah. And what I really love is like people who learn from each other too. Mm -hmm. You know, some people will say, uh, they'll they'll write a comment and they'll say, please correct my grammar. And then someone else will come in and say, oh, well, you got this right, but you got this wrong. And, you know, they'll learn from each other. And I think that's so great. So right. I, uh, along with you, Adam, I'm very thankful for Spotlight listeners. Yeah. And viewers. Well, and they are they are kind of our harvest <laughs> that we take in because, of course, I do not grow any of my own food. Liz, I don't know if you grow some of you. You have some some things um, that you try to grow. I am actually very, very bad at growing food and plants in general. Okay. I don't, plants do not like me. I have a brown thumb. Ah. Uh, I basically, if I get a plant, I kill it. Not on purpose. <laughs> you make it sound like on purpose. <laughs> But oh, no, no, I try. I love plants. I try to keep plants alive. Yeah. But um, a little bit earlier this summer, we grew some tomatoes. Mm -hmm. We grew some green beans, which did not turn out. We grew one squash. Right. That, we got one squash. Um, and we had raspberries this year. But that is about, oh, and some peppers. 
Right. But those those are all the things I've grown and we harvested them long ago. Right. So we should explain, uh, maybe this is obvious to people who, to, to everyone, mm -hmm. but if you live near the equator, you have a very long growing season. You can grow food oh, yeah. almost all year long. So you will be like, what's the big deal? Why, why is, <laughs> are these harvest festivals have you can you, we can get food whenever we want mm -hmm. but when you move both north or south towards the poles you will have a much shorter time you have to you have to grow all your food and then store it and gather it really fast because the winter you can't you the, the ground is frozen you can't right. you can't do that so yeah so these harvest festivals uh i i i make i'm making a guess here because I'm, I don't remember if this is in the script or okay. not. If these harvest festivals happen more towards, like in a certain range, or if they, if they also happen um, um, closer to the equator. I know there's one in England. I know, well, that we talk about. There's yeah. one, there's the, um, the Harvest Moon Festival. And so that's more in um, like parts of Asia, China. Yeah. Um, and then there's one in Argentina, I believe. Yeah. So we're talking kind of mid latitudes, 45s. Yeah. But okay. I would be interested, like if you do live near the equator, like, uh, yeah, let us know what, what sort of like, what's your harvest season? Like, do you, do you have a harvest festival? Yeah. I feel like it might be a little bit like, um, how Christmas has kind of gone to everywhere and some people yeah. celebrate Christmas, um, even if it's not a religious holiday, it's yeah. a it's a holiday that people um, celebrate. Yeah. I feel like Thanksgiving might be a similar thing. Yeah, um, I mean, there's a Canadian. We do know there's a Canadian Thanksgiving that happens about yeah. a month earlier. So yeah. I think there's, it's good. Yeah, and but so there's, I mean, like giving thanks is. Um, I feel like it must be a sort of like human urge i need. think so i think so you know? uh life so. is better if you live uh thankfully if you live grateful for yeah there's plenty to to complain about but um yeah i think i think taking a time and just being thankful it, it's it's a lot harder to live your life that way i i think i don't know if you find yeah. yourself pulled towards the darkness <laughs> but it's yeah. hard. It's hard to choose to live in the light and be like. You know, Adam. Uh, we've been friends a long time. You know yes. that I tend towards the rage. Mm -hmm. I have a very strong sense of righteousness. Righteous indignation. Um, yes. Yes. Righteous indignation. So um, I think that for me personally, um, I am thankful for a lot of things, but thankfulness is probably not one of my first instincts. Yeah. Well. Um, yeah. So, so when when you gather, I don't know what you what you traditionally do with your family, uh, because Thanksgiving in the United States is a time when families usually get together. Yeah. Um, so if if you if you were going to get together with your family, what are some of the things that you'll be thankful for this year? Uh, well, this year will be different than normal Thanksgivings. Normal Thanksgivings, we usually spend. Um, the weekend before Thanksgiving with my extended family, my wider family with my sisters and um, my dad. And then the week on Thanksgiving, usually we travel down to um, my husband's family and we stay with them and we have a wide family gathering there. So, but this year um, we are staying home and we're making our own Thanksgiving dinner. Not me because I'm terrible at cooking. <laughs> So I no, might make no plants, I'm, no no cooking. Yeah, I'm not cooking. Uh, my husband is cooking, um, but he makes delicious food, so that's great. And also, I might make a pie. Last year, I made um, because famously in the United States, there's uh, pumpkin pie, right? Yes. Um, but there's a is it a sweet potato pie? Yeah, sweet potato pie I made last year for the first time. And oh. my family was like, this is amazing as okay. they were eating it. So I might well, do that. Well, there you go. Yeah. How about you, Adam? Well, we, um, my mother, uh, one of the ways that she likes to show love is to 
make food. So oh, yes. we're, we'll go there and we always say, what can we bring? How can we contribute to the meal? And she'll be like, well, you could bring a pie, kind of like what you were saying. Yeah. But we know it's pie number three or four <laughs> that we're bringing, <laughs> you know. Because she's just going to make pie. She's going to be like, well, we have to have apple pie <laughs> yeah. and we have to have pumpkin. Like maybe you can bring a pumpkin oh, my pie goodness. or something. Um, so you end up eating just a small slice of each. Of everything. Of everything. You have a, a smorgasbord. Yes. Smorgasbord. Um, Borg. Borg. <laughs> Borg. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is a great program to um, think about. We want to hear, like, do you have a harvest uh, festival yeah. where you live? What are you thankful for? Uh, if you're thankful for Liz or Adam... <laughs> Uh, you could you could let us know about that as well. Um, this is a I'm just going to take a minute and say, like, we really appreciate all of you. Um, and we really try to make this program a program where we are. We don't focus on all, we, we do focus on some terrible, terrible things. Um, right. War and. You know, when uh, we're talking about the, the when, world and our program, we're talking about the world because the world is. Um, has some really bad stuff in it, but yeah, uh, yeah. Let's let's just make a resolve. Twenty twenty two. It's gonna yeah. be a year of being thankful. You know, um, this reminds me of uh, sometimes on Facebook around this time, like in November, people will make like a a grid or like a calendar. Okay, and they'll. Um, you know, sometimes people send out these things anyway, and it will have like a list of of things for each day. So like on the first day of November, um, like what is one um, season you're grateful for? And then, uh. you know, for November two, it's like, what is one family member that you're grateful for? And it will kind of give you a guided, um, like a guide yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. through the month of November so that you can be thankful for something every day. Because I feel like sometimes when I do try to be thankful, it's um, it's for the same things every time. Right. Your family, you know, yeah. your work, you know, the house yeah. that keeps you warm and safe, which are all good right. things, right? So maybe we could maybe we could do that, some, something for that, like uh, this week for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. Seeing that we're planning ahead. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, this has been a lot of fun to talk with you, Liz. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving, even... If you're not going to see the people who you traditionally do. Um, mm -hmm. And as you think about what you're thankful for, I hope that you just, you have tons of ideas because you're just so, so thankful. <laughs> you and too, Adam. Thank you. Well, make sure you check out this program. Do all the things like liking and subscribing to our channel. And until next time, we hope you listen, watch, practice and learn. Spotlight out.